How y'all doing? It's your boy David out here. The Homestead Cusick. <clears throat> About to give y'all a little rundown of part two of burning the post. Post in the ground. I shared a video live. <clears throat> burning the bottom of the post. Burn them up real good and set them down. Use metal oil and diesel fuel. And that basically treats the post. So we put it in the ground. It won't rot. Now it's a pine tree that I've taken down. And I put them up in eight foot lengths, buried them three foot in the ground. And the way that I buried them was I auger down the hole, about three foot, six inches in diameter. And then I slammed them down with a mini hoe because most of these poles are over six inches in diameter. And I don't want them to go nowhere. This one's got a little wobble to it, but it'll be all right. <clears throat> the reason I didn't burn the top is because I had to deadlift every one of these this morning and stand them up, throw them in the hole and hold it for the mini hood to slam it down. Which I still got some of that diesel fuel soot and oil grime on me, but not as much if I would have did the whole post. So now I burn the post and then I do a light spray down until the log absorbs my treatment.
that's basically it. You burn the outside. You see that thing smoldering a little bit? It's hot. Now this is where you gotta have a little bit of finesse. Trigger control. Okay. And the trick is you want to get it hot enough to where it allows the wood to expand. Then the sap heats up, kind of melts, and then it liquefies. And then kind of opens up the pores of the log where it'll just soak this stuff right in. And then when it all cools down, the sap, diesel motor oil mix, will harden together. And you gotta treat it first. Because <clears throat> if I would have gone to Lowe's, bought eight foot posts, Let's just say that you're spending ten dollars a post. Fifty-eight post. Y'all do the math. Somewhere six hundred bucks, five hundred and eighty to be exact. I got my wooden post about twenty foot apart. And I got metal T posts on my foot. Twenty foot apart, but they're gonna be ten foot centered between the wooden posts. Just for this reason right here. Sounds like my kids are having a blast. That's alright, they did work today, so sometimes you gotta let them be kids, you know. You can use the help when you need it. My kids are using pretty good sports about helping, especially if it involves tractor. They get to run it. Best way to get them motivated. Hey, you want to run the tractor? Yes, sir, Daddy. All right. Now I got to let them take turns. And some of them got to get out and do the manual labor. So I make every one of them do each other's job. That way it keeps it fair. And when they're hungry or they want to play, then I just kind of let it be. Like I said, at the end of the day, you got to let them be kids. But they're also learning life lessons that people just don't teach anymore. And that's part two of treating your post. The biggest thing is you gotta have that finesse because I don't wanna just spray this stuff all over the place, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take my time. I got two, I got five more out of 18. It's a slow process, but it's gotta be done. Well, have a good one. Cusick out.